Welcome to uh, the Old Farts Brewing. Is it brewing? The Old Farts Brewery. Let's get the bugger right. Right, what I'm attempting today. I'm attempting to make a wart cooler. A wart cooler? I think it's called wart. Is it wart? Sounds like a wart on your foot, doesn't it? Any road up, what I've done, look, I bought some 10mm uh, copper pipe from the plumbers. Central heating pipe. And uh, I bent it round this, formed it round that. Yeah, so it's like a Zebedee, Zebedee thing, right? So, what I'm doing now, I'm going to do a bit of soldering. So, uh, let me show you the bits and bobs that I've got. I'll pick up the other camera. Right, I've got two flexible pipes. I've got a couple of circlips. I've got a bend, I've got two reducers to 15mm and I've got an on off switch and I've also got some flux for a bit of soldering, a blowtorch and a, a bit of solder and I'm going to show you how to do a bit of soldering, hopefully. <laughs> right, so let's put this back down. Yeah, so for a start then, what I'm attempting to do, obviously I've got to get this pipe up to the top somehow, so uh, I'm going to cut a bit of pipe off so it's about the right length, and then I'm going to solder a bend to the bottom so it goes up. So we'll do that next. So, how much do we want? I'll just try and straighten this out for a start. I shouldn't have bent it really, but there you go. I suppose the best idea is to measure it. So, let's get my measuring stick. So, coming from the bottom pipe all the way up to the top which is 15, so if we did about 18 inches, so we'll do it today. So I'm going to straighten this out best I can, and then I'm going to cut this bit off here. So I've just got to get me uh, cutting now. Here we go. It's too, uh, it's too big that one, so I'll we'll use this one. And we'll just cut a piece off. Best to use a proper cutter rather than uh, an axe saw because it gives a nice smooth finish. So let's cut this off and then make sure we've got a straight bit of pipe. Right, okay, so that's that bit and it should be the right length, which it is. So what I intend to do now, I think rather than the bottom one, which is a bit bent, I'm going to put that onto there and put the pipe back up. So the first thing you need to do, you need to worry about the inside because uh, when they're new they're not too bad, clean wise. But what I shall do is get a piece of um, a piece of wire wool and. Uh, give it a clean down the end of the pipe and then we'll put some flux on it and go from there. So let's get some wire wool. What did I do with that? Bloody hell. I put it down somewhere. Bloody hopeless if I'm losing things. Here we go. Now you've got to be careful with this stuff because you can cut yourself with wire wool. So you've got to be very very careful. So I'm not going to peel a bit off, I'm just going to uh, change the pipe. So first job, clean the end. So 
So that's nice and clean, just uh, give it a clean off. And then I'm going to do this end of thing so that, uh, and then we can straighten everything out at the end. So give that a clean twist out, make sure it's nice and, uh, you know, got all the oxidisation off the, if it's oxidisation, I don't know whether it is or not, but we'll see. Right, I'm going to put this bend on now and uh, solder that into there. So we need a bit of flux. So I always use uh, a match. Don't, don't put it with your fingers, obviously it's acid and uh, you'll burn your fingers. So, just a bit of flux on the end of the pipe. Like I say, there's no need to clean inside of that because they're fairly good. So, make sure that that's pressed in all the way to the end. And then what we'll do, we'll do the same with the other end. We'll put some flux inside this this time. You've got to use the flux or else it won't work. So we'll bring that on there. Just bend it in a little bit and we'll make sure it's firmly in. There we go. So basically now look we've got that tube that's going down the centre and it's got a nice bend on it. So we'll solder that in. Make sure the pipe's well in, and we'll set the, uh, the torch going now. I'll just bend that in a little bit. I'm sure it'll bend. Right, what we're going to do is eat this up now. Let it get nice and warm. And also, you can do with a cloth at the end just to rub. I don't know what I've got on here. Yeah, you need a bit of cloth just to wipe the excess solder off the end. So let's let it get warm for a start, it shouldn't take long and then just touch it there it is, and it just sucks in with the capillary action there we go and like I say, get a bit of cloth and just wipe the surplus off But being careful not to touch the actual metal, just wipe it clean. There you go. Now that will take a second or two to set. Obviously, I won't state the obvious about touching it before it's uh, dried out. So there you go, you've got the centre and that piece there. So uh, what we're going to do then, once it cools down, we'll tuck this little bottom bit in. In fact, I should be able to do that now. There we go. So it rests on the bottom, okay. I'll wait till it cools down a little bit. Which won't take all that long, hopefully. And just, uh, it's not too bad now. It won't take too long. And then straighten this out a little bit. You've got to be careful that you don't kink the copper. Now I want this to lay flat on the bottom if we can. So we need to jiggle it about a little bit. There we go. I think we'll find that that's okay. Right, what we're going to do now is try and straighten this up a little bit. There we go. Right, let's see if it sits in the uh, 
in the bucket okay. We can adjust this because it's actually easy to uh, straighten out. So we can just put that in and uh, that should fit in there quite well. Okay. Now the two ends, this end and this end, we're going to put the uh, reducers on and then fit it into a bit of proper copper so that we can uh, get the flexible O's on. So let's put these out of the way for now. And bring this out now. Get out of the way. Nice and tidy. And uh, Right, again, what we're going to do is, we, we need to worry about cleaning inside, that's not too bad. But we need to get everything ready, so uh, what I'm going to do, I've got a bit of copper pipe, an old bit that's been left over, and uh, I'm just going to cut the end off so that it's nice and, uh, nice and clean. That's got a bit of a bend on it, which we don't want, obviously. And just cut the end off. So that's that, and that's that. That's bloody clever. So what we're going to do then now, we're going to put a bend on this. Right. Yeah. What I'm doing next is look. I've got this sort of reducer on, which I've put some uh, uh, flux on. And uh, I'm putting these bends on, like that. And uh, I'm going to solder these into position, but first I want to do it all in one go. So I'm going to cut this in half. I'll clean it up first so that uh, it doesn't spin. So you, just, you only need to clean one end. You don't have to clean inside the, the actual joint. And then a bit more flux, after I've cut it in half of course, <laughs> silly bugger. Get another clean and a bit of the old uh, flux around the end. So it's fairly straightforward, really. Make sure it's all the way in like that. and generally pointing in the right direction. And uh, a bit on that one. And a bit mucky the flux. I hope it's going to be all right. I'm sure it will be. Okay, so that pretty well plumped in. Now, obviously, that's going to fall over if we're not careful. So, what I'll do? Is I'll, I'll, whoops! What I'll do? I'll do this one first. So. Okay, on that. So let's do this one first. It's at 90 degree to the angle. many seconds really and then this one will be capillary up to the top there we go that one there we go and again 
a bit of cloth around it just to wipe the excess off while it's still red hot. Okay, that's that one done. Take a couple of seconds to uh, secure. And then uh, we'll do this other end. So maybe this time we'll turn it round. So that it's on the edge and we can... Actually it's gone a little bit tighter anyway so it should be alright. I think the heat's uh, swelled the, uh, the stuff out a little bit and then we'll bung that one in there and uh, we'll do this one next so we'll always bend it back into position once we get sorted with a new uh, blow lamp here then. So I can put it upside down. Oh bastard thing. Of a white round, a bit of a cloth to just clean it up and at her, and then let it uh, set. And there we go, hopefully, get a clean up, and we should be cooking on gas. So, just put that away, out of the way for a bloody burn hand up. So the next bit is to get the uh, flexible hoses on here, so hopefully that will be set now. So give it a wipe down, get the uh, flux off. If you leave the flux on, it shouldn't be a problem in, in this, but if you're doing it at uh, home, doing a bit of plumbing at home, the flux will burn through the pipe eventually, so you need to make sure it's off. You know, if you did it under the floorboards and left it, it would be a bit dodgy. So that's them two bits on. Right, next bit is to put the flexible hoses on. Now normally you'd put uh, PTF tape on it. I think it's called PTF. But I haven't got any. But it's not uh, like it's a massive pressure, I don't think. I don't have any now. If it does, I can put some on anyway. But uh, so you just put the olive inside there. It's still a little bit warm, but not too bad. And then that will go on there, and uh, we'll tighten that up. So let's get my spanners. Bed spanners that uh, that fit quite well normally. That's not on this occasion. There we go. That one fits there. Right. And then I've got a spanner that fits everything. Where is it? Oh no, my daughter's got it. Bollocks. Oh dear.
do. So, that on there. Probably needs a bit of tape around it really, but like I say, it's not a lot of pressure. So we just tighten that on there. What's that one on it? Doing the same on this. Now what we can do, if we wanted to, is have an on off switch. So again, just tighten that up on that. On off tap. Say if, if we get a leak, we can always fix that, it's no big deal. With a bit of PTF tape or whatever it's called, so that we go. Hey. No, actually, I won't, I won't have this on, no point. I'm wasting that with this. So, there we go. Now I need a bit of pipe to go on the end there and then onto the uh, onto the uh, hose pipe, hopefully. So I'll sort that out next. So, uh, I've finished it now. It's testing time. So I've put the water through and there's no leaks and what I've decided to do is actually put the stop valve there and uh, so if I look off on and uh, no leaks from from that. Where are we? There we go. So, leak free. So that's me, uh, me cooler. Thank you.